Hi everybody, welcome back to SC Aviation, the X-Plane Mobile Simulation Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn on the Boeing 737-800 engines. So in order to ignite, in order to fire up an engine, you always need three things. The air, the spark, and the fuel. And it's in that order that your engine is started. From your car, to your Cessna 172, to a Boeing 737-800. So, first of all, you need the air. How do you have air by turning on the APU? So let's check that the APU master switch is in the on position. And by making sure that, the, that there is bleed air coming from the APU. How do you know that? Because this switch is in the off position, now it's in the on position. By having it in the on position, you're going to have the first part that you need to start the engines. Second thing is the spark. But once you turn on the spark blocks, down in the engines things are going to happen fast so before that we need to check some things first one the anti-collision light must be on it's also referred to as a beacon light and what it basically does is that it tells any ground personnel that might be working around the airplane to get away it is this red light that you can see there flashing and basically tells everybody to get away apart from that you need to check that you have your brakes on as they are and that they are hydraulic hydraulically powered as they are right now because you can see the electric hydraulic pumps are on and where is that electricity coming from from the battery and how is the battery charged from the APU generators which you can see that are also on so once that is checked you're gonna turn this engine start switches to the GRD position left one and you're gonna start to see and monitor this gushes in the center displays the upper display and the lower display unit and we're gonna start making some callouts so this is how an engine start looks like APU is on so we have air and engine start switches to GRD so you can actually hear when this thing reaches 25% as it has we're gonna ignite fuel and you can see N1 is rising exhaust gas temperature is rising fuel flow is increasing N2 is rising fuel flow is also increasing you got oil pressure coming up oil temperature coming up oil quantity has to keep the same and finally the VIB on 1.3 you want to monitor all those things that they are stabilized and that this spark valves are closed correction sorry are open for the right engine that's good so you can see we have fuel on the left one and the engine is on now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the left engine just at this time I'm not gonna explain it but I'm just going to shout out um, the callouts that a real pilot would do so starting engine number one N2 is rising N1 is rising N225 ignition oil temperature increasing oil pressure increasing N1 coming up exhaust gas temperature decreasing fuel flow stabilized and spark valve open that's great now that the engines are started and that you can see that all the indications are stabilized there is nothing strange if there is immediately shut down the engine we're gonna go ahead and turn and make the airplane rely on the engines rather than on the APU so how do you do that? very easy first the electric thing so generator from the engines comes off and from the APU goes off and same thing for bleeder and same thing for the hydraulic pumps just that in this case you only turn them on but you turn don't turn off the electric ones and you can now shut off the APU and place your engine start switches on continuous that makes the engines uh, the engine spark plugs to keep like continuously igniting so that the engine doesn't shut out shut off suddenly it's more complex than that but that's the main idea so I hope you everybody you guys enjoyed I hope that everybody liked this video if there's any questions down in the comments please my followers know I answer every single comment and this is how you turn on a Boeing 737-800 engine 
that works just like a Cessna 172 does and your car does. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.